My name is Ari Lissauer, and I'm going to be doing a podcast interviewing baseball seniors and how baseball has impacted them as a person and how they've felt the season has gone. I'm going to be interviewing the baseball players because many players at the end of their season, after their senior year, are left with the decision between going into a higher level of baseball or choosing academics. This podcast tells the story of a senior either ending their baseball career and like how they feel about it or moving on. First, I'll be interviewing Zach Nowitzki. All right, what is your name, grade, and position? Uh, my name is Zach Nowitzki. I'm a senior, and I play catcher in first base. Do you have any future baseball plans? I do not, no. And how do you think the team did this year overall? Uh, I think the team was, we did really good actually. Uh, we always finished right in the uh, either 12 to 8 or 8 to 12 range of our record and we were 8 and 11 this year. Um, we got a lot better from our first game all the way through uh, and we played like for each other a lot this year and we were super tightly bonded. Uh, what was your favorite memory from this year or any years past? Uh, I'd say probably last year, uh, hitting a home run, my first home run, that was pretty cool. We were, we were down 11-0, we ended up coming back to win the game, so that was cool. But yeah, probably favorite memory from this year is just enjoying all the time and like the little moments with everybody. Uh, what do you think you'll miss most about baseball? I think I'll miss just like showing up to the field every single day, whether it's like a game or a practice. And, whether it's hitting in the cage or taking ground balls, just like the little things, or even like playing catch with like my best friends before the games and stuff like that. What advice do you have for younger players? Uh, whatever your role is, embrace it. If you're an everyday starter, great. Uh, be a leader out there and play your position. And if you're not, if you're uh, in between, you know, do what you can to help the team because there's little things that people don't realize, like a courtesy runner running for the catcher or a guy who's not as fast who. He ends up stealing two bases and we get a run across and we win the game by one. And there was a guy who was started on the bench in the game and he made a difference and he was the winning run. Uh, so yeah, just embrace your role, whatever it is. Uh, what was your, who was your favorite underclassman and how did they impact you? Oh, uh, my favorite underclassman was probably, hmm, probably say, Ryan Moran, or, or uh, yeah, I'll go Ryan Moran. I don't know, he's just always fun. Uh, he's a good player, fun kid to be around, plays with a lot of passion, and uh, he makes some pretty sweet plays every once in a while, so it's nice to see that. And then what, like, non-senior players do you feel like played a more leading role and, like, impacted the team in a way like no one else did? Yeah, uh, i definitely say Miles Jungroth. Uh He's definitely the best pitcher we were on our team this year, um, probably one of the best pitchers in the state. You know, there'd be games where uh, he'd be, he'd give up one hit and we'd lose the game, but you know, like we made errors behind him or we didn't like make the plays or give him run support. But yeah, he's been one of the best pitchers in the state all year and he's got a lot of, I caught him all last year as a freshman, so seeing him grow this year is super cool. So yeah, I think, I think definitely Miles Jungroth. And then lastly, how do you feel like baseball has impacted your high school in general experience? Uh, it's taught me a lot of lessons of like, you're going to fail more than you're going to succeed. Because like in baseball, if you hit 300, you're still, you're only getting on base three out of 10 times. That's still like really, really good. So it just like taught me to accept failure and like learn from my mistakes and how to keep moving forward and like, to not be discouraged by failure and like be open to taking advice as well as like working with other people uh, especially like at the start of a new season you know like the team you always have to find the team dynamic and especially like being like a like a senior heavy team this year like we we're all really tight and the younger classmen kind of, uh, underclassmen kind of came up and like joined our group I guess they kind of like were nervous at first but we kind of took them under our wing and like we have really tightly bonded and tight knit group this year, and I think that's because like we un we understand like teamwork and like working with other people and stuff like that, and so just like being able to talk and like communicate, as well as like learn from other people's mistakes, but your mistakes too, uh, has just made like I mean even if you take it to the classroom and to the field both ways. So yeah.
All right. Thank you. Yeah. Next, I will be interviewing Griffin Crone. What is your name, grade, and position? Uh, my name is Griffin Cron. I'm a uh, senior here, and I play left field. Uh, do you have any future plans playing baseball? Uh, no, I do not. Just uh, this playoff run, and then I'm done. Uh, how do you think the team did this year overall? You know, um, we had some ups and downs, um, but I think overall we've done pretty well, and I think we put in ourselves in a position for success. Uh, what is your favorite memory from the season? Uh, either just all like the practices with the guys because they're a bunch of fun and then this playoffs run is pretty fun or when I hit a home run that was pretty sweet. What do you think you'll miss most? Uh, just the guys. I mean we this group is super close. We've been playing together since we were 11, 10 most of us. So like it's going to be kind of sad that it's all said and done in who knows how long. But yeah. What advice do you have for young players coming up? Uh, just keep working hard. Um, no matter where you are, you can you can improve. And I mean, we've had guys who haven't when we were younger, maybe weren't the best players that have put in a bunch of work, and now they're studs. So it's it's fun to see, and it's and just be supportive of one another because baseball, especially if you get if you can get down, you can get down quick. So you got to keep your teammates up because they're your family. So yeah. Um, who is your favorite underclassman? And how did they impact you? My favorite underclassman is Miles Jungroth, because when I drive him home, he's really funny. So okay. we have a good time. Uh, what non-senior players have you seen grow into like leading roles and make an impact on the team? Uh, Ryan Moran, for sure. Um, just seeing him kind of develop from last year and seeing all the work he puts in day in and day out, it's really fun to watch. Uh, he, he works his tail off, and he's having some success, and I love it for him. Uh, what is the impact that you think baseball has had on your childhood and high school? Um, well, I've been playing baseball since before I can even remember. So, I mean, it's just these guys. They're some of my best friends. And, like, it's just how I mean, baseball is so much about life because you fail so much. You can fail seven times out of ten, and you're still a great baseball player. Um, so it's just kind of taught me that failure is going to happen, but you got to keep going and keep working and kind of just forget about things. All right. Thank you. No problem. What is your name, grade, and position? Uh, Graham Sullivan. I'm a senior, and I play outfield. Uh, do you have any future plans of playing baseball? Yeah, I'm playing this coming fall at Iowa Western. Okay. Uh, how do you think the team did this year? Well, we're still going, so like, hope for the best. Hope for that we stay locked in against Edina on Saturday. Um, but we're doing solid. We're a little bit inconsistent. Uh, we've had a lot of good showings against good teams, but we've also like kind of not shown up against worse teams. Like we lost to Hopkins twice, which is just games we should have never dropped. Um, overall, we we do have a lot of talent on the team, um, and it really just comes to if we can get it done on any given day. What was your favorite memory from the season? Hmm. That's a good question. I want to say uh, beating New Prague was pretty fun because they've generally just handled us every time we've played them. Um, so it was kind of like nice closure the last time to play them to just like kind of whoop them a little bit. What do you think you'll miss most about high school baseball? Well, these are all the like kids that I grew up with. Like I've played with some of these kids since I was like eight or nine, and uh, now I'm playing varsity with them, and so. That'll probably be the thing I miss most. It's a lot of fun. What advice do you have for younger players trying to play at the next level or just play varsity baseball? Uh, just put your head down and work hard. All right. And then what non-senior player have you seen grow into leaders and make an impact on the team? Uh, John Groth has had a really good season. Uh, he's like stepped up and really like improved since last year from what I've seen. Um, it's kind of hard being a sophomore, getting put in big positions, like expected to like carry a team, like not allow very many runs, and uh, he's really stepped up in that regard. I've also seen uh, Ryan Moranis really stepped up in a leadership leadership position, like talking before the games, in between innings, that sort of thing. Who was your favorite underclassman, and how did they impact you? Ooh. <laughs> Wait, can you ask the, can you ask the question over again? Yeah. Who was your favorite underclassman and how have they impacted you? 
Uh, I think Marty's done a really good job, like stepping up into big positions. Like he's come in late games a lot and close the door, hard positions to put him in. Um, and he's just done a really good job and deserves some credit for that. What is the impact that you feel baseball has had on your high school so far? Well, it's really like it's taught me how to like learn a bunch of new skills, like things like it, what, learning anything and like and trying to be really good at it kind of just teaches you things about yourself, like how you learn things, um, how you deal with teammates, how you deal with adversity. Um, and I feel like baseball has really been big for me in that regard. And then moving away from high school, like what are you looking forward to going to uh, playing in college or at the next level? Well, making a lot of new friends, uh, getting after it, working really hard. Uh, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, Juco plays a lot of games in the fall. Um, have to be a student athlete, stay dialed in on my classes. Um, I'm just mainly excited to be getting after it with a bunch of guys that have the same goal that I do. All right, thank you.